Good morning. It is Friday, June 19th. Day, I wrote it down and I forgot it. Day 97. 97. And I decided I'm going to keep counting. I, I, my friend also had said this, so I'm kind of copying her. But I'm just going to keep counting until things are opened up as normal. Which our count could get pretty high because I don't think anything's going to open up as normal this summer. And then if we have another influx this fall and winter, <sighs> until there is a vaccine probably. <laughs> but today is also Juneteenth, which is the day celebrating when uh, Texas freed the slaves. And it is now a national holiday to just reflect upon the history and think about things going forward. So take a moment today to think about how we can be better people. Today, we are going to be focusing on cleaning the house. And, well, at least this morning, I am. Kevin's working. And then we're gonna go back out on the boat and I think there's gonna be tubing and swimming and stuff involved. So we are gonna see what today does. It is so weird not having a fence, I mean. Wide open spaces. I don't like, the, I don't like the open fence. <laughs> I actually feel like the yard feels smaller, doesn't it? When it's open? Yeah, I think it feels the same, but it doesn't have the um, boundaries <laughs> to keep like a dog in, you know, <laughs> chatting or a dog or two. <laughs> traffic stop while we're trying to get to first we're gonna get gas then we're gonna get ice creams at mcdonald's and then we're gonna go do the boat please oh we're that low i guess and then to the boat of course yes there's the meyer marker we made it i unpacked our stuff and i'm just waiting here kevin went to the boat to get one of his paper masks and then he's gonna go in and see about buying some mushroom anchors. I'm not sure if it's just one or if it's two. Uh, so that way we can anchor off the back of the boat so the boat doesn't start to sway while we're in the water. We've got some pre-boating dipping dots. How is yours, Chayton? You got banana split. Bananas and strawberry and chocolate. Some of your favorite things. Raven likes her rainbow ice. Mm-hmm. And Talon's got cookies and cream this time. Well, I found my hair at, um, cookie dough. Nice. All right, our first time getting out of the boat dock by ourselves. Boating day two on our own, getting out of the marina. Yeah. Go for a little ride. Oh, that breeze feels so good. It is in the 80s, upper 80s. Feels so good though.
finally through our anchors and I am sweating, so I might go jump into the water right now. Oh my goodness. Full of cookies. <laughs> I'd say this is snack time or lunch time, but it's four o'clock, so it's more like a snack. It's lunchable time. It's lunchable time. And cheese time. Jayton's all about the cheese. Definitely refreshed after a dip in the lake. The sun, oh, it's behind a little bit of clouds. That's why it's cooler right now. It'll probably get hot again. I'll probably need to jump in again. Heading back for a little cruise before we dock. And we're having a good time, right, Jayton? It's only Friday. Look in the backyard at the fence. <sighs> Ooh, it's nice and tall. Huh? Look at this. 
Oh, it locks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can actually lock lock it. Let's go see the back gate. There's another gate too, Talon. I like, uh, I like that thing. I like all that thing now. Yeah, the fence makes it look that much nicer. Oh, there's three keys. Well, different. This is as far open as it goes right now, unless we oh, okay. dig it out a little bit. Mom, yeah. They, they, we have three different keys. Three yep. different types of keys. And then they turned our little triangle point into a, a little square, and it looks fantastic. And we got the big six foot gate over here. Double gate. Yeah, there's st still another lock right in the very center. So you add a bunch of dirt here to kind of. Oh, fill it in. Yeah. Oh, that's how you open up more. Yeah, we're not going to have any more small dogs though, but <laughs> still good to have it evened out. <laughs> big gate. It's 8.30, feels later, it doesn't look later because it's still light out, but I'm exhausted. I do have stuff I need to get done tonight though, so I'm not going to go to sleep, but I think I might jump in the shower and then use my straightener brush, my, to use the Revlon brush dryer. I realize I wasn't using it to its full potential. I'm the last time I used it, I wrapped my hair around it and I've watched videos where they keep twisting, which would make sense because that gives you the blowout look. I don't necessarily like the blowout look, but to keep twisting it, it would help it to dry faster. So I'm gonna try that tonight and we'll see how much faster I can get it to dry. Just wait, oh, there's a bat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, we have so many mosquitoes. Oh, I don't know if I got that. <laughs> They're like really active right now. Oh, shit. Huh? Mosquitoes? There's a bat. <laughs> oh, two bats. <laughs> You guys, you can come by us and eat the mosquitoes that are eating us. <laughs> I decided to just not cut my hair right now because I'm very tired and I'm going to go to bed after I put away our refrigerator stuff from the boat. So I'm going to let my hair air dry. I've got my vitamin E all over my face, so I'm pretty shiny right now. <laughs> but after that, I'm definitely going to bed. Today was another amazing day. Having fun on the boat. Tomorrow is going to be a low-key day. I'm not going to be, I'm not planning on filming anything. Unless I do have a fresh meal, then I might be filming that. We'll see. The day after tomorrow is Father's Day, so we'll definitely film what we do with our spatial distancing Father's Day with the in-laws and the parents. Which, if it's a nice day, we'll be outside. If it's not quite a nice day, we'll be in the garage. So we'll see how it turns out. But until then, we'll see you at the next Meyer Marker.